year that brought out a great number of very talented young fighters. And tonight, a pair of these are going against each other here in the stadium. Bobby Boyd of Chicago, 22 years old, winner of 37 out of 45, against Eduardo Lousy, the sensational middleweight from Buenos Aires, Argentina, winner of 61 fights out of 70. 49 of those 61 victories came via the knockout route. Lousy working on a streak of uh, undefeated bouts, which has reached 31. He's trying for number 32 tonight. Bobby Boyd with an eight-fight winning streak. And the winner tonight is considered a good bet to be ticketed right into a title shot at the middleweight championship. Lousy, the number three middleweight. Bobby Boyd, the number nine. Now we're just about ready to go, so I'm going to switch you up to the center of the ring and the ring announcer, Ben Bentley. Ladies and gentlemen, here are three outstanding ring stars that you'll soon be seeing in action on your Wednesday night series from St. Paul, Minnesota, Del Flanagan. Del Flanagan. Here, ladies and gentlemen, is a youngster, one of the top contenders for the heavyweight championship from Chicago, Johnny Holman. Here's one of the most outstanding light heavyweights in boxing today from Detroit, Michigan, Chuck Spicer. And ladies and gentlemen, on Wednesday evening, March 14th, here in the Chicago Stadium, the International Boxing Club will present a 15-round bout for the Welterweight Championship of the World between the champion, Carmen Basilio, the challenger, Johnny Saxton. Here with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the outstanding contender, the leading challenger, the former World's Welterweight Champion, Johnny Saxton. Johnny Saxton, come on up and take a bow. Well, the way champions and also fight. with us this evening from Canastota, New York, the world's well away champion. Come on up and take a bow, Carmen Basilio. Basilio. This will be another world championship fight on your Wednesday night fights. Wednesday evening, March 14th, here in the Chicago Stadium. Tickets will be placed on sale Monday at the stadium box office. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the feature bout of the evening license supervised by the Illinois State Athletic Commission. The attending ringside physician, Dr. Irving E. Slott. Your judges are John Bray, Spike McAdams. The timekeeper is Charlie Sidebottom. Counting for the knockdowns at the bell, Phil Weideman. Your referee, Frank Sakura. Ten rounds, 160 pounds from Buenos Aires. Argentina, weighing 160 pounds, wearing the black trunks with a white stripe, Eduardo Lousy. From Chicago, from Chicago, Illinois, also weighing 160 pounds, he's wearing the white trunks, black stripe, Bobby Boyd. Boyd. Here, ladies and gentlemen, referee Frank Sakura, the instructions for both contestants. Bobby, who's your chief second? Larazzi, who's your chief second? All right. You men received your instructions from the Illinois State Athletic Commission. I'm here to enforce them. I want a clean break at all times. I want no rabbit punching or kidney punches. Be careful of your low blows. They may cost you a round. In case of a knockdown, I want you to go to your furthest corner and stay there till I tell you to come out boxing. Also, in case of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Is that understood? Shake hands and come out fighting. Wipe off that grease with it before they come out. Wipe that grease off. Come on. Referee Frank Sikora has finished his instructions to the fighters. If you're scoring tonight's fight in Illinois, the 10 must system is used. 10 points to the winner of a round, such a lesser number as you think he deserves to the loser. In case the round is considered even, each fighter gets 10 points. Round number one coming up. Both these boys have won over half. They're winning fights by knockouts. Bobby Boyd, the taller of the two. He's in the white trunks, 5 feet 11. Eduardo Lousy, 5 feet 8. Both fighters very quick with their hands. Lousy possessed of a tremendous left hook.
Both these fighters weighed in at exactly 160 pounds each. A little murmur went through the crowd as a very fast left hook by Eduardo Lousy just missed Bobby Boyd. Lousy in the black trunks is favored in this fight. Although in the only common opponent they have faced, each having defeated Gene Fulmer, Bobby Boyd did it very easily. Lousy had his hands full with Fulmer. Bobby Boyd got his glove up in time to block that hook by Lousy. And that right hand to Boyd's glanced off the shoulder of Lousy. He brought the shoulder up, punching it in front of his jaw just in time. That was a good right hand ended by Bobby Boyd. One minute to go in round number one. seconds left in the first round. That hook was blocked by Boyd. now for round number two of the scheduled ten rounder. The expectation is that it will not go ten since both these boys are very much in possession of knockout powers. Bobby Boyd is in the white trunks, Eduardo Lousy in the black. Lousy has been undefeated through 31 fights and in 26 of those fights he was a winner by a knockout. Bobby Boyd's winning streak is not as impressive. He is working on a string of eight in a row. He is giving away inches in height and reach to Bobby Boyd, being 5'8 as compared to Boyd's 5'11. He is not fighting the short man's fight, which, according to the boxing textbooks, is to stay inside, stay tight, go to the body, and then try and work up the tail end punch of a combination to the head. But Lousy likes to fight at long range, and he's doing against Bobby Boyd. momentarily as he pounded a left and right to the jaw of Boyd. Boyd has proven he can weather a punch and he's weathered those all right. One minute to go in round number two. And we are really getting action in the fight between these two middleweights here in the Chicago Stadium tonight, and Boyd is staggered with that hook to the jaw.
30 seconds left in the second round. Ten seconds in the round. Round number two coming to a close. There's the bell ending round number two. Now let's take a look into the corner of Eduardo Lousy. That's his manager Charlie Johnson leading through the ring ropes on the right and it was a very good round for Lousy. He shook up Bobby Boyd pretty thoroughly with that uh, left hook. He dropped against Boyd's uh, jaw. And his left hooks to the body were causing Boyd to wince from time to time. Eduardo Lousy from Argentine was the Argentine welterweight champion as an amateur in which he won 31 out of 32 bouts. And of course he has rocketed to national prominence here in the middleweight division in professional fighting. Lousy in the black trunks, Bobby Boyd in the white. That's about three good hooks that Boyd has landed on Lousy so far in this round. Lousy punching wildly now. And a cut has been opened right between the eyes of Eduardo Lousy. Right in that uh, ridge of the brow over the nose and between the eyebrows. Two minutes to go in round number three. Eduardo Lousy turning into a wild man in the ring now as he senses that he has been cut by Bobby Boyd and is trying to overcome the disadvantage in sheer fury. cut on Lassie's brow is not bleeding heavily. It should not be bothering his vision. One minute to go. Boyd connects again. We're in round number three. seconds left in the third round. We're ready to move into the fourth round of what has been a terrifically exciting and action-filled bout up to this point. Three rounds of fighting have gone by. Here's round number four. Bobby Boyd in the white trunks, Eduardo Lousy in the black. Boyd pot shotting with his jab at the damaged brow of Eduardo Lousy, and he's got it open slightly again. Now a slight cut has been opened up alongside the right eye of Lousy. Warning by Frank.
Mike Sikora. Rabbit punching by Bobby Boyd coming down on the back of the head and neck of his opponent as Lousy went into a crouch. And again, Frank Sikora calls to Bobby Boyd not to hold around the back of the neck. As you can hear, disagreeing with the referee, Frank Sikora called it as a knockdown, and the eight count was told off. A winging left hook by Lousy caught Boyd alongside the ear, and that would hurt. One minute to go in round number four. Blood is streaming pretty freely now from that cut between the eyes suffered by Lousy in the previous round. Thirty seconds left in the fourth round. the end of round number four. We go now into round number five. Eduardo Lousy in the black trunks against Bobby Boyd. Lousy from Argentina. Boyd from Chicago. Lousy, the number three ranking middleweight. Bobby Boyd, number nine. Each came in tonight weighing 160 pounds. southpaw style there as he moved off the ropes and landed two good right hand leads. And Bobby Boyd in the white trunks is taking good advantage of the edge and the reach he has over Lousing, keeping that left hand popping out constantly. from the cut on the brow of Lousy once again. One minute to go in round number five. Cut is being opened more and more. Lousy paws at its face. As it's beginning to bother him a bit now. Thirty seconds left in the fifth round. Ten 
Ten seconds to go in round five. Ready now for round number six. Picking up right where he left off. That steady, popping, jabbing attack. smack into the face of Eduardo Lousy as we open the cut. A good hook against the temple of Bobby Boyd. Boyd's mouth has been cut inside on the lip. Eduardo Lousy trying to put over the big one and swinging wildly. to go in the sixth round. seconds left in round six. Six and referee Sakura had to pry the fighters apart. Let's take a look at this boy, Bobby Boyd, as he comes back to his corner. He's 22 years old, winner in 37 out of 45 fights, and his big move into boxing's big time was his New York knockout of Tony Anthony in one round. This, however, is easily his most important fight since he has moved up into the upper brackets of the middleweight division. A victory tonight could lead him to a title shot. Across the ring, in the corner of Eduardo Lousy, they're working right now on the damage that has been done on his forehead just between his eyebrows. They've been successful in stopping that up between each round, but uh, Boyd has been equally successful in reopening it. Now we're ready for round number seven. He forced out between the ropes, and the crowd applauds Bobby Boyd for not taking a swing at him while the ring rope was lying across Lousy's throat. There is a cut 
on the temple of Eduardo Lousy. As though uh, a cut that probably came from a bumping of heads. Two minutes to go in round number seven. It is not in a position to bother him at all. Bobby Boyd popping away with that jab, reopening the cut on the forehead of Eduardo Lousy. Crossed a good right hand, bangs the right to the jaw, and Lousy is staggered. Boyd spins him around, and he falls down, but a knockdown is not scored on that when he was wrestled to the canvas. Boyd comes in with another good right hand shot to the jaw of Lousy, and Lousy is plainly in trouble. Boyd bangs another right hand home. One minute to go in the seventh round. Both these fighters are tremendously tough. This fight has seesawed a great deal, one fighter than the other having the edge, but each has been able to take the best the other could offer so far. 30 seconds to go in round number seven. now into the eighth round. Bobby Boyd in the white trunks in the right of your picture. Eduardo Lousy in black. It's been a tough and thrilling fight that these two have put on for us here tonight. again has opened the cut on the forehead of Eduardo Lousy and the bleeding from it is plainly bothering Lousy as he paws at his eye with his glove. Two minutes to go in round number eight. right-hand shot on the jaw. One minute to go in round number eight. Right-hand lead by Bobby Boyd is a good connector, but these boys can take punches. Thirty seconds left in the eighth round. There's 
the bell. Ending round number eight. This is Eduardo Lassi back in his corner, and they're through the ropes quickly to go again to work on the cut eyebrow of Lassi. Eduardo Lassi has been undefeated since September 13, 1952, when he lost to Kid Gavilan and then defeated Gavilan in a subsequent bout about two years or three years later on, in September of 1955. Across the ring in the corner of Bobby Boyd, since there has been no visible facial damage to Boyd, the efforts of the seconds are a good deal less hurried between the rounds. Boyd did show a, a cut inside the mouth a few rounds back, but nothing further has been added to that damage since. Round number nine is coming up. We're in round nine, scheduled ten rounder. Both these boys have come into this ring tonight in tremendous physical condition. They've taken a storm of punches as first one then the other would secure the upper hand in this fight. One knockdown was recorded. Boyd knocked down in the fourth round. Two minutes to go in the ninth round. Thirty seconds to go in round nine. For a while, it looked like we'd never get this far, but here we go into the tenth and final round. Bobby Boyd in the white, Eduardo Lousy in the black, they touch gloves, signifying the beginning of the last three minutes of fighting. about what Eduardo Lousy has in mind. He wants to land that one big one. Boyd flurries well in the corner. Two 
Two minutes left in the fight. One minute left. That punch caught Boyd off balance. It didn't knock him that far. He just sort of staggered in that direction. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds to go in the fight. There's the bell. They don't hear it. That's the end of the fight, and we'll have the decision in just a moment. We're waiting now for the uh, scorecards to be collected by the ring announcer, Ben Bentley, and then they will be checked with the Athletic Commission. Incidentally, I know boxing officials across the nation will be happy to hear that Livingston Osborne, the chairman of the Illinois Athletic Commission, who has been ill for quite some time, returned to preside over the weighing in today and the commission meeting here in Chicago. This was a tremendous fight put on by Bobby Boyd and Eduardo Lousy. They came to fight 10 rounds, and when that last round concluded, they were piling away at a clip that looked like they could have gone 20. Here's the decision. Judge Franklin McAdams scores 95 points. Bobby Boyd, 88. Eduardo Lousy. Judge John Bray. 94 points, Bobby Boyd, 91, Lousy. And referee Frank Sakura scores 93 points, Bobby Boyd, 94, Eduardo Lousy, the winner by unanimous vote, Bobby Boyd, Boyd. Bobby Boyd, the winner of split decision over Eduardo Lousy. Bobby Boyd, the winner on a split decision. It would be my guess that uh, Frank Sakura, who warned Bobby Boyd on several occasions for various things in the ring, subtracted some points from Boyd's total. 94-91, 95-88, favor of Boyd, the scoring by the judges. 94-93, favor of Lousy, the scoring by the referee.